Out of politics in Los Angeles, where the city council remains in limbo tonight following the leaked audio scandal. Despite calls to step down, two L.A. city council members remain in their positions. Arlette is here with the update. Huh? Christine, that pressure is directed toward council members Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo. The two refusing to resign just as protesters refuse to give up. And tonight, we learn the acting council president believes more leaks are coming. Not tomorrow, not the next day. We need you to resign now. Dozens of protesters spending their Friday afternoon outside L.A. City Council member Kevin DeLeon's office in Boyle Heights demanding his resignation. We're going to be here coming back to this space as long as it takes for him to resign. I don't think he thought it was a big deal, but it's a big deal to us. The protesters also calling on council member Gil Cedillo to resign, just as their now former colleague Nuri Martinez did Wednesday. Martinez is widely considered the one to lead the racist conversation that was secretly recorded. He comes out here and pretends that he's aghast at what she said, but that's Nuri's boy right there. At a food drive in Hollywood today, acting council president Mitch O'Farrell, the target of protesters, who linked him to the scandal. And that is something that was heard in the recordings. I'm no one's boy. I'm O'Farrell joining us on the Fox 11 News special report at 6 o'clock tonight. We are resolved to make sure that Mr. Cedillo and Mr. De Leon resign. Why haven't they done so? I'm sure that they're grappling with lots of issues related to their position, their future, their finances. They need to put all of that to the side for the better of the city. As for the leaked audio, O'Farrell says he doesn't know who's behind it, but says he's certain of one thing. Is there concern that there's going to be more such recordings leaked? I have no doubt that there will be more to come out.